Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We are jumping in again on a streak of 12, looking very nice. We'll randomize Tainted Isaac. We just did Tainted Isaac. Oh, so instead we'll do Tainted Eden, but Tainted Eden's very broken right now, so... <laughs> I'm going to play him anyways, but there is a really, really bad bug that's affecting Tainted Eden at the minute, which is going to be pretty crazy. Also, starting off with um, some interesting stuff here. Let's have a little look, see what we got going on. So we got the D6, which is, of course, pretty damn good. We also got the green eye here, the devious lick. Grants tier chain lightning effect, um, light deals the player's tier damage, and the shattered stone. Um, chance to spawn random locusts when picking up bomb coins or keys. Very, very nice. This is a really good start. Stats aren't amazing, mainly just fire rate, to be honest, but... Let's try and go as long as we can without getting hit here, because we've got good items. But yes, there is something significantly broken. Significantly broken. With, uh, rerolls and Tainted Eden in general right now. Um, you will maybe remember something from a previous episode that may allude to what that is. But you will see what it is in a brief moment. Basically, when I get hit, you'll you'll see what I mean. It's it's a pretty significant bug. It definitely could make things easier or harder on us, depending. I'm thinking it'll make things easier to start with, but later on it could make things a little harder. Get ourselves a cell heart. Look at me, my tinted Eden boy. But yes, really liking having Devious Lick here. Also love the name. <laughs> um, to get this like electric effect from Tainted Zack. I think that's going to be quite nice for us. Right. So we can just kind of electrify as we go here. And I like that. Come on, my Tainted little boy. But yes, question of the day today. Let's let's have a think. Let's have a think. Ooh, no. I don't, I don't really need that. Um, what's, what's your, like, what's your best sort of... I don't know what I don't best maybe might not be the right the right word, but what's like your favorite pet you ever had? Whether you still have it or whether it's passed, um what is what's what's been your what's been a pet that's like really, really sort of got you through some tough times? I had a a cat called with a very strange name called Pookie. Did not name it myself. Um that's a terrible item for me. Why did I even pick that up? Um yeah, called Pookie, that, that was basically a cat that just, our cat that just took a liking to me and, like, spent all of her time in my bedroom. And she was just the best cat in the world. She was absolutely amazing. It's it's unfortunate. I wish pets could just live for as long as we did. <laughs> um, but I, I still have really fond memories with that cat, so that is really not a single hit. Also, this guy is looking fresh. I love the sprites in this dude. But, yeah, unfortunately... Our reroll didn't go to, didn't go really to plan there, but we're doing good damage to this guy. Hopefully, we can get some more damage stat to make our devious look even better. The longer we can keep it, the better it's going to be. Um, we're, we're taking out all of these flies pretty easily with the electric chains, but at the minute they're pretty low damage, so they're not really doing much. Oh. So you might be already able to tell where the um, the bug that I mentioned lies. If you can't tell already, for some reason, at the moment, every single reroll results in a planetarium item until we exhaust the planetarium item pool. <laughs> Not exactly what the game should be doing, but it is what it is doing. So, yeah, we're going to be getting a lot of planetarium items for a little bit, at least until we exhaust the pool. I can't remember with Tainted Eden if it can roll back into things that it's already exhausted before. It might be able to. I don't remember. Smelt a random trinket onto us. That didn't do anything. <laughs> that didn't give us a random trinket at all. You've lied to me, game. You've lied to me. Okay. Pop in here real quick. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit of a wacky run to start. I'll take Pet Rock for now. Just because if it's going to get re-rolled anyways, I don't mind. I should have really not got hit on that boss fight there, but it is what it is. It is what it is. But yeah, I have, I have really fond memories with with, uh, with that cat. She was a good little lassie. I remember when, when we first like adopted them, we, we got them from a shelter. They came, they came in and they just like 
hid for a while. I mean, all cats kind of do this. The, 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 they're not really comfortable with their environment yet, so they just kind of find a place to hide. And so she, I, I lived in the loft in like the attic room. So she just went up into the attic and just hid under my bed. And I think that just became like, she was, she was very much an antisocial cat. She really didn't like noise or anything. Um, or like a lot of people. So I think that, oh my God, we got spurred. Um, I think that just became like her, um, her little hideaway. Look, the tower card again. By the way, you might be noticing one problem. Because, wow, that guy died fast. Because we have only planetarium items, we're not dealing an awful lot of damage because we're not getting any stat ups. That's going to be, um, that's going to be something that we, we, we have to deal with quite a lot here. 12 random coins is pretty good. We got four. We got another one of them. Wow. Okay, pretty good. Um, then we got an Ace of Diamonds, a Justice. Pretty good here. And we got, we'll spawn either two bombs, two keys, or two nickels, depending on what you have the least of. Thank you. Yeah, so one problem with this planetarium shtick is we're going to be heavily lacking on actual stat upgrades for a while. And that's going to be probably quite problematic. Definitely happy to get soul hearts here. I will I will take this. We got the item that we literally already have, which is slightly annoying, but <laughs> is what it is, I guess. Hey, we got one of these hearts. That's pretty good. And we're just going to try and find the second secret room before we leave here. There it is. Just because that gives us a half soul heart. Then we can be on our way. And yeah, things are, things are a little spicy here. Things are a little spicy. We, we we potentially have a really good run or a devastating one. We're gonna, it's going to be a very planetarium heavy run. We know that for a fact. We know that for a fact. I did not mean to Mars there, but it kind of worked out. But yeah, Luna's pretty good here because we can actually get some statistical benefit outside of our items. We can also bomb into the uh, boss trap room. I didn't notice that there. But yeah, it'd be cool to know, like, what pets, like, really got you through some hard times or, or one that you even have still now that you that you hold really dear. Uh, I don't I don't have any pets at the minute because where I live doesn't allow them. Oh, we've been hit again. So it does look like we can re-roll into planetarium items we've already had, which is problematic for us, I think. Because that does mean that we're kind of... Until we, until we get enough items to go over the limit of planetarium items... We're only going to have planetarium items for the remainder of this run. So that's, it's going to be a little, it's going to be a little saucy, I think. Because we keep getting Mars, so. Yeah, this is the planetarium run. An interesting one for sure. Definitely good for, uh, what the hell? That's not normal. Um, I will try and afford that. Did not mean to dash there, as you can probably already tell. Right, quickly pop in here. I will crack you guys open. I'll grab that. And yeah, let's go and buy Trisagian. Like, I, I'm sorry, but I'm not a fan of this idea. I don't know why that exists, but I don't like it. <laughs> I don't know who made that, but... Yeah, I'll have to take a little look-see. Uh, spawns two batteries. Intriguing. Got a golden penny here as well. Seems we've either lost spurred or lost spurred visually. I think it's just visually. This little um, this little dude we've got following us around is doing a pretty good job here. He's got a lot of uh, a lot of flies under his under his wraps here. Right. Let's go and buy ourselves this. Yeah, he's got a lot of flies helping him there. I, I also had another cat called Jimmy, um, who he lived a little longer, but we had them at the same time. Um, and he was he was amazing. He was just like the most docile, laziest cat in the entire world. But it was he was fantastic. He was just so nice for just like hanging out with and just chilling. Like, a lot of cats can be a little fussy, or do, they don't want to stay in one place for a long time, but he was like, nah, I'm down to absolutely chill out, people. He was so down to chill, it was great. Oh, I got hit. That's a lot of fire, it, right? Or it was, at least. What did I just do? 
Ah, I got hit like a load of times rapidly there. Really not sure what just happened. God damn, this run's pretty funky. That was pretty nice. Grab that. Some more money for us. And what we got here? Star of Bethlehem. It would be nice if we could keep that, but... I don't know if that's a possibility. I'm gonna go quickly back and buy Fanny Pack in the shop. Yeah, like I've always been a I've always been a cat person. Like I don't, I, I definitely don't dislike dogs, but for one, I have more I have an allergy to both cats and dogs. But it's it's a lot stronger to dogs. Like I can I can tolerate being near a cat for a good amount of time, and I'll just get a little snivelly. Whereas dogs, they make my eyes water and everything. So that's that's obviously one big part of it. But also I've just I've never owned a dog. My family have never had one, and they've always had cats. So I've I've just grown up being a cat person. Um. I, I, I also, I don't think I'd ever own a dog either. Like, I do like them. I don't dislike dogs at all. But I, I really like with cats how they're so low maintenance. Like, it, it, is, it is nice when you have, like, a good relationship with your pet, with your dog, and you, like, go out on walks and stuff all the time. But at the, at the same time, dogs require so much more hands-on maintenance and attention. Whereas cats are more like, hey, I'm here. Spawns an item from a random pool. has 50 percent chance to give broken hearts. Okay, give it a go. Um, yeah, and it's, it, it's just kind of like, um, they're just like, oh, well, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna chill out here, and if you want me, I'll be around. Um, sometimes I'll want you, and sometimes I won't, but there you go, and it just, I feel like it's so much more of a relaxed approach, whereas dogs are like, I love you, I love you more than anything, do not ever leave me alone. <laughs> Which is great, like, that, that definitely is pretty awesome when a dog is like, Super happy to see you and everything, but at the same time, especially if you're a busy person, it can be quite exhausting. Um, depending on your dog, I know that a lot of people got pets um, during during lockdown, and especially cats that do this have like developed like separation anxiety, which is something that people haven't really experienced that much before um, this period. But now, now, yeah, pets are getting separation anxiety, which is something we didn't really. I think people did know about it, but it wasn't really no that well known to the public, the general public. But now everyone's kind of like, oh shit, I, I, I've i been in the house for six months straight with my pet. And now they, they, they can't leave me alone. <laughs> I'm going to take all of these. Yeah, so it's it's kind of crazy um, sort of seeing how that's ended up developing. Have I been to that secret room? I don't know. I'm just going to keep going. Um, it's kind of crazy how it's just kept developing. I don't think I went to my item room that time around. No, I didn't. It's, fi it's fine, though, because, like, our build is kind of weird. I don't think it requires us to go to... Especially when I got that many items from the Devil Deal there. Yeah, so there was, like, people where they had dogs or, or cats with. When they started going back to work, they were, like... Have it, the, the pets were having a really hard time because they were... From being kittens or, 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 like, or puppies were being basically swaddled and constantly cared for to, like, having to spend an entire day alone. And it's, it's really interesting to see. Oh my god, there's so many planetarium items. I still only have planetarium items, people. Sorry, I had to sneeze there really loud. <laughs> I don't even know. What does this celestial body one do? Like, what? I think that's what it's called. I can't remember what it does, though. Wait, let me check. Encyclopedia, inventory. What does this do? Gives you a random planetarium item each floor. Ah, nice. <laughs> okay. Oh god, I should not have paused there. That game did not like that. I've got the game kit as well for some reason here. Come on, you. Thank you. Right, this time I will actually go and try and find the item room. Let's have a little look. See, tractor beam is pretty good. Damn it, still not got enough. I thought I was gonna have enough there, but sadly not. Got an emperor card here, let's just emperor. Speed it, speed things up a little bit. 
Okay, you decided to... I think he got charmed for a brief minute there and decided to just go off and attack his own friends. I was really confused why he just buggered off. Ow, I got hit again. Ooh! Ooh, I think we've I think we've passed the, the planetarium threshold. I got cursed eye. Uh teleport you to super secret room. Coins will drop more often. Ten ob uh Oh shit, no. Oh. I, I didn't read. They reworked those cards and I didn't just I decided not to read. It was a bad idea. Right, we're just going to plow forward at the minute. There's there's a lot going on here. One second. Let's carry on. Okay, apparently I used the D4 upon entering this floor, but nothing changed. I don't know what the hell happened. Oh, no, I've got Dice Bag. I had D4 in that room, I see. I've got the Dice Bag Trinket. There is some confusing things going on right now. Very confusing things. I, I kind of want to get hit again because I don't want Cursed Eye here, but I also, I'm not really noticing Cursed Eye all that much, so. No way! We got Death Certificate from the Ghosty Boy! That's, this is sad because it's going to be completely useless. Do you know what? Let me put, let me leave it there. I'll try and re-roll to get a better run. Like, yeah, I'm going to try and re-roll to get something better going on. And then we'll come back to Death Certificate. But, I can't believe it. From my mod, the, that gives Haunted Chest an item pool, that's the best item in there. Super, super rare. And I got it. And I, it doesn't even matter, because it's just going to be an item that gets re-rolled. But, basically what I'm thinking is, maybe, maybe we, like, get a really good run going. We get some really good items. And then we just, um... Gimpy's pretty good. I mean, actually, it's not. Um, maybe we get a really good run going, and then we get, like, a holy mantle or something. We get something that's going to make us nigh unhittable. That's kind of my thought process right now. I don't know if that's the best way of doing this. Okay, I did get hit again. Okay, I didn't get anything amazing there. I kind of need to get hit onto something good. It's so funny that it re-rolls the spikes as well now. I love that. We're on Necro 2, so we don't want to go for the boss yet. Right, let's get ourselves hit again. I know that we've not got great HP, so this might not be the best play. But yeah, I'm just I'm trying to think of how we can make this work. How can we make Death Certificate work for us? Holy Mantle is my is my sort of ace in the hole right now, but it might end up being that it approaches me in a different way and I end up finding something a bit different from what I was expecting. Well, that helps, thank you. Crack key here, why not? Got a golden bomb. I just want to get hit. Uh, thank you, thank you. Okay, that, that wasn't a good getting hit. That, I got, like, basically nothing from that. So, can I... What, what happens if I undo? Okay. And then, does I, do I re-roll into the same stuff? We'll never know. It's very hard for me to, like, actually get hit at the moment. I'm, I'm realising that now. It's not as easy as just walking into the enemy. Although, that helps. Okay, so I got the same re-roll as last time here. That shit off. Okay. This is also not that good. I need to... I don't know why I don't have my mod installed that removes a bunch of items from Tainted Eden's pool. Because we're getting a bunch of on-hit effects that are pretty useless to me here. Arrow cloths are decent. Unfortunately, we can't re-roll on self-damage, so we're a little bit stuck here. Because self- yeah, self-damage isn't going to re-roll us. And I don't think... 
there's any good way for us to get hit by something now. So let's let's just pop death set and we'll, we'll see we'll see what's what. We'll see what's what. Okay, we'll kind of figure out what we want while we're in here. So there's some of the obvious ones we, we know of. I'm, I'm maybe thinking, is there going to be like a modded item that stands out to us that could be like a savior? I don't know. Very annoyed by all the gla gas clouds here. Yeah, I'm maybe thinking the way to go is uh, taking a look at the modded items. I want to at least find out where Holy Mantle is first. Okay, so Holy Mantle's up here. We found Holy Mantle. That's sort of my, my my first instinct. We've got, like, Godhead and stuff like that. It's kind of tricky with Godhead, though, because it's like... We need something that's going to prevent us from being hit, really. Okay, so we do have some modded stuff here. Um, birth certificate. That's interesting. Gulp all of your currently held trinkets, teleport you into a special area that contains many trinkets along with some other pickups. Only one trinket can be chosen shortly after picking up, you will be teleported. That's kind of interesting. Okay, so we found, we've started to find some of the modded items now. Be careful I don't accidentally walk into anything here. A lot more modded items. Uh, nothing that I'm noticing there that could save us. Ooh, I love the golden room. The golden room's pretty cool. Okay. I haven't seen anything so far that's taking my fancy. I mean, maybe we just go, like, the generic route and take, like, Sacred Heart. But I don't know. I feel that's a little boring. But it, it also could work. I mean, it's not like I can't get hit when I have Sacred Heart, really. I still can pretty easily. But it's a fun one to grab, nonetheless. Okay. A lot more modded items here. There's a soul heart there that I might as well grab. I don't know if that's everything from something wicked, but it's quite a lot of stuff there. Looks like we found most of the modded items, right? There must be some other modded rooms, though. I want to I want to see all the rooms first before I make my decision. I'm so torn. Holy Light is such a good one. Toxic Shock is another really good one if you have high damage, which we have reasonably high damage right now. So, that's another option. I haven't actually seen where Sacred Heart is yet. I'm a bit confused. It is resprited, so it might just be that I've missed it. Oh, wait. I missed the, uh, the turning. I'm always really scared I'm going to accidentally pick up the wrong thing here. This is a bit okay. So here's Sacred Heart. <laughs> we found Sacred Heart. We got like Epic Feeters. There's some interesting stuff here. Definitely Brimstone. I don't really think Brimstone's going to work for us here. Tech 2. It's just a generally quite a difficult decision. Here's a lot of the planetarium based items here. Fruitcake is always fun. God, this just goes on forever, doesn't it? Mega Blast. Yeah, Mega Blast is not really one that works. This is, we got Arky. Arky's always a good call as well. I don't think I have the time for an Arky run, though. Damn, this is so difficult. Genuinely so difficult. I got Dormimic in the... Are you kidding me? <laughs> Oh, Lord. Nothing like run winning in here that I want to take, is there? A lot of the delirium based stuff over here. There's nothing run winning over there. It's just, it's difficult. It's, this is such a hard decision. I know for a fact that whatever I take, I'm going to lose it in like the next room. Like, Glitch Crown could be really good too. Um, ooh, do you know what? That was very close. Mars almost fucked me. I'm going to take C-section. I think I'll end up losing it pretty quickly. I'm, 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 I'm almost 
certain that I will. It's going to be really upsetting when I do. But I've not really had a, had a C-section run before. So as long as I can, like, not get hit for a while, it'll be pretty good. I guarantee, guarantee I lose it in this mum fight for some reason. Just, I think one reason I'm probably going to end up losing it is just because I can't see. Also, we've got magic mush. I didn't even realize. But yeah, let's just be very cautious as to not get hit. Mars, stop messing with me. Mars just almost made me dash and lose it there. Mars is the worst, isn't it? Mars is just the worst. Stop, Mars. Do you know what? No. Get gone. No one likes you, Mars. So easy to accidentally activate. Oh, this is, yeah, this, this is quite beautiful. That was, that was special. I need to be careful of destroying rocks as well. Because, like, these rocks can explode into, uh, into little thingies that, that could hurt us. Nice. This guy's charmed now. Yeah, it's just so easy for a random stray shot to hit us, but I still think this was the right decision. The damage is cool, is really good. The the synergy is really cool. I think it's all round good stuff. Soul heart most definitely. Justice. We don't have an active item at the minute either, obviously, because we use death certificate. It lost us our active. Now, this is a room I can see myself losing it in. I, luckily, I have this, like, aura of shots that just freeze enemies, which is pretty good. But that won't save us forever. Anything like this that can brimstone, I feel, is problematic, too. More of the void is decent. I'll at least check this out. Nine lives is like a must-grab right now. Good, good, good. Although, isn't nine lives really bad? I don't know. Nine lives might be terrible. Although, I, I wouldn't have a lot of red hearts anyway, so it's fine. Guess we don't have mapping this time around here. We need a bit more shot speed is what I'm seeing. If we had a bit more shot speed, our, uh, our fetuses would be able to get there a little quicker and do a little more. Shoop is indeed an active. Good, good. Yeah, this run has really uh, taken a turn, hasn't it? It's really become become something quite special. You've got to love the infinite planetarium item set up. I'm just being so cautious as to not get hit. I'd be so upset if I lost my... Um, I lost my death certificate item to some, like, really dumb really dumb hit, which I feel like these guys, stuff like the laser beam dudes are the, da the guys that I feel like are, are gonna end up hitting me. Oh, we got a Baleful Heart. Nice. I'm gonna spawn some ghosts every now and again. That dude almost got me. Don't wanna mess with you, son. We're turning a lot of these uh, these dudes into our friends, which is quite quite nice as well. Another card there, strength. Rooms like this scare me, because these teeth things can just pop up out of the ground and hit us. Okay, so eyes don't do the evil things that you regularly do, please. Thank you. Good, good. There's a lot of shots here that I don't know what they're doing. Be careful. We're good. Pop in here real quick. That's a lot of red chests. That's a bomb. I don't even care. One bomb is enough for me to go bail. I'm out. By the way, I apologize if you can hear what's going on outside. There is some, like, mowing going on, I think, and it's very loud. Nice. 
This is another room that could get me. Good, good, we're okay. Oh my god, this is very scary, actually. Even though, like, I don't think I'll die in this run at all, I think I'm pretty safe now. I still really don't want to lose C-section. It's just... I've got the fear. I have the fear within me. Yeah, I didn't even think about when I went to the death certificate area to start with. I didn't even think about C-section. I think C-section is one of those items that, like, a lot of people tend to take now. Because it's just really synergistic. It's really fun. It's very rare and unique. So it's just one of those items that a lot of people tend to be taking from, um, from thingy now. A death certificate. And I haven't really done that, so... This is my time to shine, I guess. Okay, let's be careful in here, because I could still get hit. Okay, this is another one that I have to be careful of. I just physically can't see, so it's it's not great. But there you go, he's dead. Perfection? I've not been getting hit, so I will take that. Still a little afraid I will get hit, but it won't be the end of the world. Ooh, I love the continuum visuals here. Thank God we have flight for this. Okay, now that's just annoying. One thing that's kind of freaking me out is these dudes. I, one of my planetarium items must be, like, making enemies that I kill into friendlies. But sometimes it just doesn't look like I've killed the enemy. And so I get kind of scared, but then I kind of realize, oh, wait. Okay, there's a bunch of pins in here, too. I didn't realize about that. This guy could definitely hit me. Luckily, we got him. These dudes could also hit me. I've got to kill at least one of them very, very quickly. Yeah, look at that. He's already got the, the seeking balls on me. There you go. He's dead. Okay, we're, we're a few rooms off the boss now. Sadly, nothing great there. I basically just have to sort of co compartmentalize... Is that the word? That's, that sounds about right. Like, I have to, like, break up the rooms into, like, different segments, essentially, and pick and choose which one's the best and what to go for first. But here we are. We're at the boss. Let's pop that. Let's pop that. And let's see how this goes. And there you go. We managed to eke out the rest of the run pretty quickly on just the death certificate play. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. A very fun run there, and I'll see you guys in the next one.